and some are quite cheap. But then you can tell there's a quality. There's a, there's a quality. So this, this, this price uh, on the screen is for the premium brand, is it? Exactly, for okay. Stallion and Cap Price. And, you know, okay, that and doesn't look like ones. the common man's rice. It is, it is, it is the common man's rice. It is, but I mean, so far it's not as bad as it was when it was about 24,000 a naira. Mm. Very interesting. Uh, well, it's more nutritious to eat uh, beans, which is still... But even beans is getting racing out of... Most hand. commodities that we track right now, if you go to the market, if you go for market surveys, the market women are complaining bitterly. Prices of most of the items are going up and they're scared that consumers cannot continue to purchase from them. And they can't bring down prices because they're actually operating at a massive loss. So even if you try to, you know, hassle or haggle, you know, try to come to a common ground, you can tell that they're actually going through um, going through a lot trying to sell these um, products. We blamed the central bank and lack of foreign exchange for most of last year. Yes. So who are we blaming this time around for well, this? Well, when pri when we had the FX issues, a lot of uh, manufacturers, traders took advantage of that and increased prices, which was a valid point. But now we are seeing some sort of stability in the um, FX market. That is not enough reason to bring down prices. So that is where we are a bit stuck because manufacturers are not tapering or reducing prices to reflect, you know, the um, uh, FX improvement. So when would that happen? No. Uh, let's look at Lagos, of course. Where uh, this is where I am, so I'm going to be a little bit personal about this. I will, we'll just look on the next page about uh, uh, a press of bread, uh, some of it uh, gala, indomie, a carton, what have you. Well, for kids, this is good news. Uh, mm -hmm. A carton of uh, uh, indomie is down by 24 percent. Okay, that's good news for Lagos, by about 1,900. But 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 look, uh, a loaf of bread is still hanging around that figure. I'm still uncomfortable each time I look at uh, I love bread, but. 12.5% uh, difference is quite a lot of money. Well, most, uh, I, we believe that most uh, crops that are grown, I, we, we can, um, the rainy season is, is also a major reason as to why tomatoes, um, pep, tomatoes, onions, and all of that are actually going up because it's, it's, it's not the season for that. But going forward, like I, like I kind of stated earlier, the new yam season, the new yam season is coming up. So we expect to see that put a little pressure on the price of yam. And um, sometime, next, sometime next month, the, the flower meal organization may actually adjust uh, flower prices downward. So we expect that to um, put a little a bit of pressure to reduce the pressure on most of the confectionaries or you know products that have um, flowers and impute in it. Interesting. Uh, what is the latest PMI gr uh, growth report? What does it really show in terms of where we're going? Well, it shows um, it, sh it shows positivity. Most uh, most of them are quite optimistic as to. I mean, the outlook is that we expect to see co you know continue continuous expansion in the manufacturing index. However, the um, the elephant in the room remains the fact that will the FX um, supply how consistent will that be? Will it be, you know, will it be consistent? So that is just the um, issue right now. So far, we're seeing consumer confidence picking up, um, mainly due to, again, the FX um, um, stability that we have. And so it seems like FX has been the major issue. Um, but then all this, would have, all this wouldn't have been possible if our production, if oil production isn't what it is now. Like I put, like we reported in the slides, um, Shell, has lifted force majeure on uh, the um, Bonga uh, export terminal, and we expect to see an additional 226,000 um, million barrels, uh, 226,000 um, back into our production, coupled with the Focados um, that, that was back up. So, yes. So we expect it, 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 it looks good, it looks good. Uh, but again, uh, finally, uh, will you be eating Nigerian yam anytime soon if you go to America? Of course. I mean, there are other exporters as well. We have. <laughs> yes. <laughs> of course. We'll, we'll be looking out for a Nigerian yam. Coming well, to America with yams. Yeah, it's good. It's good news, but there's still a lot more we can do. It's, you know, there's still so many other things we can export, not just yam. I mean, it, it is true that we're the largest producer of uh, tubers in, in, in the world, about 61% of our production. 61% Nigeria contributes 61% uh, to total uh, uh, tuber production. But then, you know, we, 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 we produce maize and some other things, so we can still take advantage of our exports to other countries. I don't mind. Oh, okay, going to have some boiled yam in... America or anywhere in Europe, anytime uh, I'm out there soon. I'll, I'll check out, uh, let's find out what it looks like. If it tastes different because it's in America or it's in Europe. No, I don't think so. You don't think it tastes different? It is fine. Okay.
Do have a great day. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ada Konobi, uh, one of the research analysts at a team of financial derivatives bringing those technical streets, market street details to you here on Business Morning on Channel Television Tuesdays and Thursdays. Don't miss it the next time. You know where to find us on social media, don't you? At Channel TV. Join the conversation and at uh, Biz Morning. And of course, you want to tweet at me at B Bolson. Do have, uh, let's have a break, shall we? Two minutes. We'll be right back. Well, it was no longer news that Rwanda, a small East African country, was the host of the 2017 annual meetings of the Africa Export Import Bank. That was Monday through Saturday last week. The president and chairman of the board of directors of AFRIXIM, Dr. Benedict Orama, a Nigerian born head of the organization, spent some time at the convention, at the annual meetings to be more precise, uh, praising the leadership of uh, President uh, Paul Kagabe, who's led the country out of genocide onto the path of sustainable economic recovery. Rwanda posting an average of 8% GDP growth to up till 2016, emerging from a brutal genocide and now becoming the hub of economy in East Africa. Of course, uh, Dr. Orama speaks in his uh, footage to a number of issues ranging from how the followership and leadership of Rwanda has been able to help the country and what interventions and monies have been put behind Rwanda uh, to keep the country going. And of course, uh, for the broader Africa, uh, talking about...